All right. Hi, church. My name's Pastor Jenny, and I have the privilege of interview interviewing a few of our gorgeous mums from Victory Church. Um, this is going to be posted, obviously, on Mother's Day, hopefully, if it works out. So I'm going to introduce you to a gorgeous lady. Her name's Ruth Brown. She's been a part of the church for a very long time. And I hope you really enjoy this time of hanging out, getting to know her a little bit better, but especially some of the wisdom that she has to offer as a mum and as a grandma. Welcome, Ruth. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Jenny. Lovely to see you. So my very and first question is, what's one thing you're missing while you've been in isolation? Well, obviously, it's people. And I think probably one of the things is that um, when Joy, you know, I think Joy's um, not, um, you know, like when she's got a hard load and I can't just go and, you know, go and help. I think that's, you know, one of the things I'm missing. Yeah. And so Joy, Joy is obviously your daughter. And she, she is. And yep. she's the mother of your grandchildren. So she's a very important part of your life. Yeah, tell us a little bit right. about the rest of your family. So who are you married to? Yeah, just tell us a little bit about, little bit about yourself. Yeah. So I married Mark nearly 44 years ago. And I was very young. <laughs> he must have been um, a baby. <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. Um, and, yes, I've got three adult children. So Daniel is the eldest. Yeah. And he has got a little girl called Alaska. And then Paul is the next one, and he's married to a beautiful girl called Aaliyah, and they're in uh, Indonesia at the moment, usually okay. in Thailand. Yep. And then Joy is the baby, um, and obviously most people know Joy and James and their three beautiful boys. Yeah, lovely. So you don't really only got Joy and her three here, and the others are all spread around. Yep, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So you're a mother, you're a grandmother. Can you tell me one thing you do that your mum did as a mum? Well, one of the things was that she often would sing, like if a subject came up and she would sing a song that related to it. Yeah. And I, I would do that. I didn't actually realise how much I did it until I became a grandmother and my grandchildren would say something and I'd sing them a song and I'd think, oh, oh there's my mother. <laughs> oh, interesting. Did you ever do it in terms of discipline as well? Um, Were there things that she did that you think you thought that's, I'm going to do the same or did you, did you parent quite differently? Um, yeah, probably parented about the same. Yeah. Um, I can't really remember, um, you know, something. The only, only time I can remember her smacking me with a comb was I was about three I must have done something terrible <laughs> but um, everybody tells me I'm the spoilt baby so you oh. know <laughs> so how many were in your family growing up so I had um, a brother who was 11 years older and a sister nine and a half years older so I was nearly like an only child yeah quite a bit younger yeah so, yep. so as a let's go with the grandmother role first what's your favourite thing about being grandma? Um, Is there a favourite oh, thing? You love it all. I do love it all. I think probably one of the things that stands out is how much do you love your grandchildren even before they're born? Yeah. And I wasn't surprised when Joy, you know, Joy got pregnant and I would fall in love with her babies because I knew her really well. Yeah. But what surprised me was when... Daniel's partner got pregnant unprepared and unplanned and I didn't even know her and suddenly I had this really intense love for this little unborn child and so yeah, that yeah, the love that you actually have for your grandchildren is just amazing that yeah you love these people so much. So do you prefer being a grandma than to be, being a mum or is it just really different? Ah, oh, yes, they're just different roles. I'm glad I was a mother. I was, yeah, I felt very, very blessed to be a mum and I love being a grandmother. So, yeah. Really good. So, you, because you've got three adult children, obviously, you've had long seasons of being a mother and there's lots and lots of different seasons in that big mix. What has been your favourite, if any, of motherhood with all the different ages that they've been? 
I think I I enjoyed each one when they were little because I had three in three years. And so I was often very tired when they were little, but they're so cute and you just fall in love with them every day because they're so cute. And I used to think, oh, you know, I don't want this stage to end. And then yeah. they became primary school age and I really enjoyed that and thought, oh, this is fun. Yeah. And then they became teenagers and that was just wonderful. We just had so much fun when they were teenagers. I think probably the worst stage was when they started leaving home and oh. you know I suddenly was by myself and yeah. they were you know a long way away I mean I had quite a lot to do with joy but often the boys wouldn't ring for a while so <laughs> little boys <laughs> yeah that's it yeah so well, are I they the same now like do they are you the one who chases them down for communication or you just let it be uh Bit, um, you know, they're a bit better, especially yeah. Daniel. Daniel and his um, partner are really good at sending us, um, you know, lovely videos of um, Alaska. So that's yeah. really nice. Yeah, that's lovely. So last question um, would be, so there'll be young mums who have young children in this season. What is one thing that you felt, so I'm going to ask, it's like a double question. The first one would be, what's something that you made a big deal of? You know, like as a mum, you, you're really intense about something and then you look back in hindsight and think, I really shouldn't have made such a big deal of that. So there's something that you look back and go, if you could give advice to a younger mum saying, hey, that really doesn't matter, what would it be? I think maybe um, what other people think of you yeah, and the way that they are parenting and... I think probably I would, um, you know, like it's so wonderful having the Lord and having the Bible because, you know, they say children come without a, a textbook, but actually we have got the Bible and God does help us and we've got the Holy Spirit. And often I'd be like yelling to the Holy Spirit, what do I do now? <laughs> um, and yeah, you know, if my expectations it, well, if, if I thought other people's expectations of me um, were not what I, um, you know, was fulfilling, then sometimes, I, you know, I'd think, oh, I haven't done that right. But yeah. I think probably just trusting God and trusting your instincts as a mother is, is yeah. really important. Yeah. Has that changed as they've gotten older as well? Or if you actually think, no, it's the same? Um, I think... Well, it does change, you know, as they get older. Um, you're not as and responsible. I think, <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not responsible. Um, but you still love them. And when they get into trouble, it still hurts just as yeah. much. And, you and know. you're still crying out to the Holy Spirit for help. <laughs> to help. Yeah, that's it. So yeah. the, last, the last part of that question was, is there anything that you would really love to encourage a young mum and it might be the same answer but there might be something you you would love to say to the younger mums who have young children especially right now like they're bunkered down with their kids yeah I mean I think probably when they're small um you know like I think discipline you know you love them all the time but loving discipline reaps the rewards you know like if you don't discipline them when they're little then you don't enjoy their teenage years yeah. but when you you know like if they're respectful and you discipline them when they're little, then you can enjoy them for the rest of their lives. And, um, you know, I think that in this day and age when the child is made to be the most important person in the family, um, you know, there's just, I think, probably um, owning up to their mistakes and owning up to what they've done wrong, you know, and and wearing it i think probably yeah. you know that, that's really important for for mums you know like and and it's sometimes it's really you know discipline's really hard you know yeah. you think yeah. oh i'll just give in but i think that it it pays rewards because yeah i've enjoyed my children as they've grown up there yeah. and putting the hard work in in the early years really does pay off doesn't it so yeah yeah so before I go, is there anything you'd like to say to the mums in general in our church as a word of encouragement or would you like to just close in prayer for them? You could even pray for them if you want to. Oh, I'd love to pray for them. Um, I think just, um, you know, what I see of the mums at church that they're doing an awesome job 
And um, yeah, just, I mean, this is just an amazing time to be able to spend more time with your kids. That's yeah. just such a gift. Yeah. And um, yeah, and I think, you know, especially for the young mums who are doing school, you know, like having schoolwork to do, um, don't worry, you know, the teachers are amazing. They'll catch them up when they go back to school. Just enjoy having your kids with you. I think that, yeah. you know, that's the main thing. Absolutely. That's great. I'll get you to close in prayer, Ruth, before I do my next interview. Love because I, I think the women, whatever the age they are and whatever stage of life and whatever situation, you know, we've got single mums, we've got grandmothers, we've got mums, we've got grandmothers looking after kids. So if you could pray, pray a blessing over them before I go, that would be awesome. Thanks, Ruth. I'd love to. Father, I just thank you for all the mothers in our fellowship. Lord, I just praise you for the awesome job that they are doing to look after their precious children. And Lord, we give you thanks for that gift of children. And Lord, we just thank you that you are the giver of good gifts. And Father, we just pray your blessing upon each family, Lord, upon, upon each mum. Lord, we just thank you that each mother who's doing it tough, Lord, we just thank you that you say that you're with us all the time. You are there. And Lord, I just thank you that they would know, Holy Spirit, that you are there to give them wisdom in the hard times. And Lord, I pray that they would be filled with joy as they look after their children. And Lord, we just praise you for this precious gift of motherhood that you have given to us. And uh, Lord, we just thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much. That was awesome. And I know someone sitting in their room watching this um, on Sunday, or it might even be the few days after Mother's Day, are going to be really blessed by it. All right, Ruth, I'm going to switch off and enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, all right. Bless you, Jenny. Bye. Thank you.